Hey everyone, my name is Karam Sultan with In The Dark Basketball. First and foremost, I want to start this video off by sending my prayers out to the Bryan family and everyone else affected in the tragedy. Kobe was a huge inspiration to not only me, but millions of people across the world. The impact that he had on me personally is something that I plan to share in an upcoming video. As for this video, I want to talk about something that coaches always tell you not to do, which is looking down when playing basketball and exactly why you should be looking down when training. This is a sensitive topic because coaches believe that if a player is looking down, he's unable to see what's going on. So to start off with this basketball breakdown, we're actually going to look at a completely different sport, soccer. If you think about a sport like soccer, it involves precision and the ability to see things before they actually happen. For the most part, soccer players are actually playing with their heads down. They're very aware of their surroundings and small glances allow their brain to understand where their target is and from there, their skill allows for them to hit their target. Now to bring it back to basketball, think about a time that you did look down when dribbling. Often, this is due to lack of skill and that's exactly why coaches tell players to keep their eyes towards the rim instead of looking down. But what's different about training is you're already trying to learn a new skill. Your feet don't know where positions to be in and it's much harder to understand if you're doing it right if your eyes are looking up at the sky versus looking down at your feet. Push your foot. In this scenario, 100% okay to look down because you're training. That's why when learning a new skill, Myself, as well as the I'm Possible team, encourage all athletes to look down to ensure that their feet are in the right positions until the scale is mastered. During my time in Michigan with Micah, I was able to witness firsthand the difference it made when players look down to see if they were performing the right footwork. Looking down with the help of the footwork mat as a visual aid allowed players to grasp concepts much quicker. Initially, I wasn't going to make this video because Mike has already made a few good ones on this topic. However, I made a poll on Instagram where 200 people believed that you had to keep your head up and only 54 believed that you didn't have to, leading me into creating this video. But at this point, instead of me restating what Micah's already said, here's a video of Micah on one aspect that really hit home for me. What's really funny to me about the topic of eyes being down when dribbling is I am someone who has been known for my ball handling abilities over the years. And so it's really funny to me when people are telling me to get my eyes up, what they're actually communicating to me is they don't believe that I would be able to look up in the game and still have the basketball be at a tight handle. But what you need to be able to understand is that if a player is showing the ability to handle the basketball from a skill standpoint, what that means is they at least have get to have that part checked off of their game. There's no evidence or logic behind someone being able to only dribble while looking down. What you could say though, is that a player still needs to work on their reads and their decision making abilities. Just because you can handle the basketball doesn't mean you're gonna be a great passer or a great playmaker. You still obviously have to have high IQ and make great decisions. But if someone does have the ability to handle the basketball at a higher level, all that's gonna do is make them even more of a possibility to see and be comfortable seeing the floor. See, when someone can't handle the basketball, the tendency is for that player is they're going to feel uncomfortable with their dribble and they're actually gonna want to look at the ball even more in the game. Why? Because they're not as skilled in that area. The actual evidence of skill and the ability to actually dribble the basketball only increases the confidence of looking up. And that's it. That's the end of the video. But before you leave, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Ronald, Rajan, Devante, Yusuf, and Dallas for commenting on the last video. Each comment and like helps the channel grow more than you think. 
So make sure to help me out by liking this video and commenting your favorite part. Also, we finally hit 1k and hopefully we can add a few zeros to that real soon. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Until then, keep training in the dark so you can shine in the light.